Oh, there we go. How's it gaming, guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. This is Fanpy. Fanpy, at this point of the game, is very, very rare at only a 5% encounter chance and only in the morning. Uh, he also likes to flee sometimes, so I'm not even going to bother attacking. I'm just going to throw Pokeballs and hope for the best. Please stay in there. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Just don't flee. Okay, that's fine. Mm, attack me all you want. I just want to catch you. I'm willing to waste all my Pokeballs just on you. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Don't flee. Okay. Uh, Fampy, at this point of the game anyways, is only available in Crystal. You can't catch it this early in Gold and Silver, which is really, really cool. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I really wanted to catch it. I mean, obviously because we're doing a big walkthrough, but... Ah, damn it. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> You can do it, Chikorita. You can survive the uh, the pitiful, cute little tackles of Fanpy. Stay in there. No, dude, you are strong to get out of there. Oh, I'm so worried he's gonna flee. I don't want to hunt around for another one. This took like 15 minutes. It isn't too bad when you get down to it. I've definitely searched a lot longer for certain things. Yeah, there we go. Oh, thank God. <sighs> That is Fanpy. Fanpy, yay! Fanpy's pretty cool. Fanpy becomes Don Fan, I think is the name of uh, the evolution. It's really cool. Long nosed Pokemon. During the deserted morning hours, it comes ashore where it definitely uses this trunk to take a shower. And guess what? Guess what? We're naming our Fanpy. That, that's not what Fanpy looks like at all. Um, thank you, Zombie Mickey, for providing the name for our Fanpy. Like I said, my patrons don't know what Pokemon they are naming. Uh, so, this is Flopsters. I love him. Or actually her, I love her. Flopsters is a girl Pokemon, and we, we love her very much. All right. That is awesome. I'm very happy. And uh, you might be wondering too, hey Phil, it wasn't morning time last time we chatted during Pokemon Crystal, and you were 100% correct. It was not. Uh, we were at daytime, and no, a full day did not pass. I just uh, used a code. Now, uh, I'm going to run off to Mother, and actually, no, I don't have to do that. I'm just gonna hunt around here. There is another Pokemon that I can catch here. Uh, which only has a 5% uh, chance. Mind you, it can be either in morning or daytime, but that will still probably take a bit of time. Uh, so we're going to use Flopster here and switch Flopster over so we can get some experience fighting really easy Pidgeys and Rotatas and whatnot. So I'm going to look for the Pokemon that I am hunting for in Route 29. Let's see if this is it, actually. Nope, it's not. So uh, when I find what I'm looking for, I'll be right back, guys. All right, this is not actually the Pokemon I was specifically looking for, but we haven't caught a Sentret yet, so we might as well take some time to do that. So, uh, yeah, Flopsters has gained a single level, uh, which isn't a whole lot, and he's still not very strong, so we might have to switch out if it gets a little dicey. Actually, no, he should be fine. But you don't get any experience for catching Pokemon, which is kind of a silly thing. Ooh, critical, nice. So, um, Flopsters is just kind of getting beat up so that I can catch a, a Sentret right now instead of training. All right, Pokeball, go! And, uh, yeah, so Sentret's become Furrets. It's basically a cute little, um, ferret Pokemon. Uh, it's pretty cute. Oh, dang. Man, everyone's braid on my Pokeballs today. I'm not able really to catch everything I, uh, I want to, which is fine. We're, all, we're always able to go back and, and catch other Pokemon. Random battle Pokemon are never, like, suddenly locked out. You can't, like, not get one. You know what I mean? You just kind of have to keep searching around, that's all. There are Pokemon, of course, that are one-time-only Pokemon, but... We're not there yet, obviously. There we go. Sentret. Uh, the Scout Pokemon. When acting as a lookout, it warns others of danger by screeching and hitting the ground with its tail. All right, I'm going to keep looking around for what I'm actually looking for. Be right back, guys. Oh, there we go. All right. Isn't he cute? This is a Hopip. Isn't he adorable? He's not a very good Pokemon, though. This was one of the ones I used um, on my first playthrough of... of gold and silver way back in the day and uh, it's not great maybe some people know how to use them properly that's usually the case anyways uh but hopip is a i believe a grass type pokemon he's pretty cute uh hopip only knows splash right now which is a move that does literally nothing so have fun flopsters you can attack as much as you want mind you we're again we're not getting experience here which is a shame because this is free experience hopip becomes skip loom and then jump luff 
uh, which is cute in name. Imagine hop, skip, and jump. Uh, but yeah, not a super useful Pokemon. I guess it's cool, though, uh, in the sense that the game allows you to have a lot of Pokemon with a lot of different um, types at this point of the game, because just like um, our Flopsters are our fan feed there, you can't catch a, a, um, a Hoppip this early in gold or silver. So that's pretty cool that we can get it fairly early. All right, Hoppip's data was newly added to the Pokedex. That's right. Damn right it was. Cottonweed Pokemon. It can be carried away on even the gentlest breeze. It may even float all the way to the next town. Wow. No nickname, though. So, like I was saying before we started catching and stuff, let's get some into to regular um, area here. Actually, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it right here. Uh, so, where we caught the, the our, 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 our fan pee, uh, while fan pee was only available there in Crystal, Jigglypuff is actually available there in uh, gold and silver. You probably saw that on the sidebars there, but that's pretty cool. They mix it up a little bit here. But now we want it to be nighttime, and you're asking, Phil, how do we do that? Let's change our clock's time. So first, we're going to go check our Poke Gear, because we want to know how much money we have. Oh, not a Poke Gear, sorry. Our Phil, <laughs> our trainer card. We want to see our ID number. Mine is 07442, and my money is 100. Uh, there's a link in the description below that'll give you um, the password based on the stuff. You need to know the name, your ID number, and how much uh, Poké Dollars you have. It'll give you a password. Uh, so let's reset the game because I already have the password for that specific thing. And obviously make sure you saved your game because it would be bad if you lost any progress you were doing. So anyways, they make this really convoluted. On the title screen, hold down select and B while still holding select let go of down and B and hold up and left while still holding that select button then let go of the select button don't know why they do it don't know why they make it complicated whatever reset the clock yes my password for that uh, specific amount of money and my ID and whatnot was seven nine six well zero zero seven nine six password okay uh, and it brings you right back to the start you'll choose your file or whatever you'll continue and it'll ask you to reset your time. You can do this as many times as you want, which is really cool. I do like how at least it's there. So let's make it 6... Uh, let's make it 8 p.m. just to make sure we are nighttime. There we go! We're in nighttime. Isn't that awesome? So, now we'll be able to catch different Pokémon, and there is a specific Pokémon I'm looking for. It's available on the next route too, so I don't get it right now. That is perfectly fine. Uh, we just want to make sure that we have the ability to catch what we want to catch. And Flopster's level 4 now! Flopster's, by the way, I didn't mention this, is a uh, ground-type Pokemon, which is pretty cool. It still sucks for uh, one of the upcoming gyms we're gonna, we're gonna be uh, uh, engaging with, but that's okay. It's fun to not always have the best stuff all the time, I guess. I don't know. But right now, we are just making sure that Flopster's can get some experience points, because level 4 is not that good right now. Uh, especially when we're going to be fighting trainers and whatnot. Which is why we still have Chikorita in the party, obviously. If things get dicey in the middle of a big fight, we can switch over to Chikorita. And that way, at least Flopster still gets some experience out of it. So, yay! It's still a lot of experience points for, for... for Like, it's not a lot of experience points, but it's a lot for Flopster. So, there we go. We're going to keep walking around. Let's see if uh, we can get another berry from that tree, actually, now that we've reset... Uh... Oh, there we go! Hey, it's Hoot Hoot! There we go! Awesome! This is the, the Pokemon I was talking about. Only available during the night. Obviously, it's an owl. So there you go. Um, I wonder if he uses Whirlwind or anything flying type, because that would suck. Okay, Tackle's fine. Uh, oof, don't be too strong, though. Flops is still a, a wee babe. It's very small and gentle and wonderful, so don't be mean. And that should be good enough. Okay. Yeah, growl all you want. Hoot, hoot, that's fine. And keep failing. Grab our Pokeball. Still got a decent amount of footballs, which is good. We're gonna need a lot more, though. And... yes. 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 Yay! Hoot Hoot becomes Knocked Owl, and is obviously the first uh, flying-type Pokemon you can get in the game besides uh, Pidgey, which is pretty cool. If you're gonna go with one, I'd go with Hoot Hoot over Pidgey or Spiro. Oh, yeah, you get Spiro as well. Um, simply because it's newer. <laughs> Pidgey and Spiro is so old-school to me. Uh, the Owl Pokemon. It begins to hoot at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of clocks. And by the way, he does have two feet. He only just likes to sit on one at a time. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's very weird. But we don't want to give a nickname to Hoot Hoot. Let's make our way onwards. Actually, I still want to check this berry tree. Thank you. Still got a berry. And let's um, equip uh, a berry onto onto Flopsters there. Our sweet boy Flopsters. Sweet girl Flopsters. Huh. 
Now that there's genders in Pokemon, I have to get used to that. <laughs> Let's give you a berry. There we go, Flopster. We care very much about you and want to make sure you're safe. And back in Cherry Grove. And now we can finally continue. We're going to leave it at night, obviously, because there is so much we can get in, uh, in Route 30. So we definitely want to keep that up. Let's keep her going. But yeah, um, Route 30 has quite a few Pokemon we can get, which is great. Plus, we're going to start doing uh, trainer fights uh, more regularly, which is really great. But let's, uh, well, uh, we're going to say let's, let's grind here, but I guess we can just keep going and we'll we'll grind when we need to. But here we go, our first new Pokemon, new Night Pokemon, Spinarak. Yay! Go Flosters. Spinarak is uh, a bug Pokemon, which is really, really cool. He looks, he looks really cute. I'm not a spider kind of guy, but Spinarak is adorable. Uh, be careful, of course he can. Poison. Uh, our Flopster. That's okay. We can go right back to the Pokemon Center and heal her up if we do need to. So don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you're doing stuff like leveling up and whatnot, just do it near a Pokemon Center. That way it's not really a big deal if you need to go back and forth. It's a little slow, but it's less dangerous. So, Okay, cool. There we go. And reach into our pack. Grab a Pokeball. Spinarak becomes, uh, I don't know how it's pronounced, I don't remember seeing it in the Pokemon show, it's like Ariados, or Ariados, I'm not sure, because um, I don't really know the pun, usually I I, 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 I kind of pronounce the things based on the pun names, because that just makes sense to me. Uh, there we go, the String Spit Pokemon. If prey becomes ensnared in its nest of spun string, it waits motionlessly until it becomes dark. That's actually pretty cool, I like that a lot. We are not nicknaming you. Hooray! New Pokemon, I love new Pokemon. And I'll also like berries. Thank you. Another berry. I wonder if the guy will give me another berry. I don't think people change what they say if a, if a certain amount of time has gone by. Mm, no. That sucks. But I mean, that'd be just too easy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and up there is Mr. Pokemon's house, which we don't want to deal with here. But, do you see anything new? Everyone's having fun battling. You should, too. Oh, are they going to fight me? And here we go. I think this is our first fight. Yeah, there we go. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Thanks, man. Were you the one with the Rotato who was trying to fight? I bet you were. And for the first time in Pokemon history, uh, the trainers actually have names. This is Youngster Joey, who is very famous in, in Pokemon circles, because he has a very strong Rotata. And go Flopsters. Level 4, huh? Ooh, we're equally matched. And, like I've said before, uh, trainer Pokemon are usually uh, more powerful, so... And they give more experience, definitely. I don't know how this is going to go. This is going to be a tough fight. But I think I can pull it off. Me and Flopster believe in ourselves. Plus, we have Chikorita to fall back on if we need to. Keep tail whipping, man. That's fine. You keep doing you. Oh, critical hit. Love to see it. But one of the fun things I like to do in every Pokemon game that has um, character names for the trainers is uh, look out for friends' names. Wow, yeah, just tail whip all the way home, man. Uh, so I like to see if there's a Phil, uh, and then like Kate for my wife, that sort of thing. 40 experience. Oh, level 5! Thank you for your delicious experience points. You know, Sir Joey was defeated. He sure was. Ah, I lost again. Doggone it. And he can start getting money, finally. Do I have to have more Pokemon in order to battle better? Yes. No, I'm sticking with this one no matter what. Listen, can I get your phone number? I'll ring you for some battles. I'm a rookie too, so I think it'd be a good motivator. Yeah, sure. I guess. Why not? Uh, sometimes uh, you can get numbers from characters. It doesn't really matter sometimes. I don't think it matters with Joey. Sometimes they can alert you some really cool things. So I'll ring you whenever I get the urge to battle. Yeah, your, your Rattata's so cool, huh? Oh. Yep, there we go, our second fight already. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. That is apparently the unwritten law in this world. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Another youngster. Youngster Mikey. That's actually, uh, my dad's name is Mike. Actually, my dad's name is, uh, the French, it's Michel. Uh, oh crap. Oh, level two. Wow, level two. So you're not using, um, Gust, which is fine by me. Uh, but, uh, for English purposes, most people just call him Mikey. So there we go. Found one person that I know. My dad is a Pidgey trainer, apparently, a level 2. How did this level 2 Pidgey lose, or sorry, win against uh, a level 4 Rattata? Against Joey. Joey, you must be really bad. You might have won if you didn't just use Tail Whip all the time. 
Thank you. Oh, you have two Pokemon. Maybe that's why. Level two as well? No, level four. Okay, that's probably why. Yeah, you keep tail whipping. Just do nothing else. Just shake the butt. Oh, dang. Uh... Oh, still only doing three. That's not bad. So that, that single level made that much of a difference. Plus, I do have a berry equipped, so that's definitely good. And we'll use a berry now that I'm less than half. Yum, 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 yum. Yes, I do. It's a shame that in the newer Pokemon games you don't see them eat the berries. I don't know about Arceus. I haven't played that game yet. But in, like, X and Y, or not X and Y, Sword, Sword and Shield, it'd be cute. They actually, like, like ate it. There's a little animation. That'd be cute. And Shmook. Oh, no, I missed! Oh, this is the end for Flopsters! No, it's okay. We're fine. We are super fine. Ha-ha! Hooray. That's strange. I won before. Yeah, because you won once, you'll always win, huh? Becoming a good trainer is really tough. I'm going to battle other people to get better. Hey, go for it. You go, Mikey. Trainer tips. No stealing other people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are to be thrown only at wild Pokemon. Yeah, if you try to uh, do that in a trainer fight, they'll just knock away your Pokemon, or Pokeball. It's kind of funny, actually. I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. It's true. If they see you like that, they'll come after you. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Are you a bug catcher, I'm assuming? Yeah, yes you are. Little weird little nub feet. Bug catcher Dawn wants to battle. And sends out a Caterpie. I think we saw a Caterpie last episode, but we haven't caught one. I think it's only available during the daytime, though. Um, or morning or day, I guess. That's okay, we are we are nighttime now. Which is fine, because we can come back later on and catch other Pokemon. Uh, now that we'll have some money to um, throw towards uh, Pokeballs. But we might not be able to get everything right now, so that's fine. Plus, like, a lot of the stuff from this part of the game are, are really common later in the game, too. So it's really not a big deal. Ow. I love the idea of a caterpillar tackling a small elephant. Just funny to me. And doing a decent job of it, I might add. Oh, wow, dude, Flopster, no! You're embarrassing me in front of the bug catcher. There we go. Ugh, nice level. Level 6. We're gonna learn a new move? That would be nice. No, still nothing. I want to use a Caterpie, another Caterpie. That's okay. We are, whoops, nope. Don't want to switch it up. And spec. Yeah, String Shot just makes you slower if it hits, but it hasn't been hitting, so that's pretty cool. Just don't miss, man. Come on, a Critical? Critical would be nice. I'll heal you up after this fight, I think, Flopsters, just in case. Or give you a berry that we can eat on your own time. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to give you a, a potion after this fight, just in case. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, Don, you're done. Arg, you're too strong. I sure am. I'm super strong. And... I should just give him a berry. I've got a bunch of berries, so... Can I just give him one? Oh, cool. That you don't have to equip it. So I'm just gonna use two berries instead. And then equip one one, uh, one on him. Or on her. Ah. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be misgendering you. There we go. What else you got to say, Don? I ran out of Pokeballs while I was catching Pokemon. Dude. I understand. I should have bought some more. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing pretty soon. Pretty soon here. Are we in a new area yet? Yeah, Route 31. Uh, awesome. That's pretty cool. And there's some another, a couple new Pokemon here too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you a fight? No. Well, you're, it's a fight, but it's not a, a battle. Or a trainer. Oh, it's Bellsprout. Hello, Bellsprout. A wild Bellsprout. There are plenty of times you can get back, catch Bellsprout in this game, but, I mean, we're here now, we might as well. Might as well go for it. Ooh. Oh, crap, that's not good. Ooh, I don't like that. We're going to switch over to Chikorita right now, because uh, Bellsprout being a grass-type Pokemon is very strong uh, against um, against uh, Flopsters being a, a ground Pokemon. So, Chikorita, do, uh, do a single tackle or whatever, and that should be good enough. Hmm. Okay, that's fine, yeah. I don't know why I was worried about that. Grass on grass doesn't do much, so... Bellsprout is, I believe, the first Pokemon... Wait, maybe? 
No, because it was Jigglypuff too. Um, I believe Bellsprout is a... Um... Ah, damn it! I killed it! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying to be knowledgeable. Oh, well, that's perfectly fine. We'll, we'll catch another one later on. You're not a fight. Dark cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. And there is a dark cave here. We can catch Pokemon in it. See, dark cave. It says so right there. Fill out a potion. Oh, that's nice. The dark cave, um, you can't really go too far in it right now. Um, as you can see, I can't see anything. But there is... This music is cool, though. You can search around for uh, some Pokemon, obviously. Let's see if there's anything in here. Isn't there? I don't want to go too far away from the entrance, too. Oh, wow. This is really all I can do. Well, let's see if we can get something decent. Like a Geodude. Yay. Hooray. That's not useful at all. Um, there is a 1% Pokemon in this. 1% uh, Pokemon are awful, and his name is Dunsparce, and he's not very good. Oh, you can kind of see the layout right quickly there. That's cool. Let's go over here. Um, yeah, it's not a good Pokemon. It's just rare for the sake of being rare. Uh, there's always like, a Pokemon or two that are like that. Uh, I don't want to go too far. Oh, man, I think I went too far. Oh, there's a Zubat. Zubat's a new Pokemon. Well, not a new Pokemon. It's Gen 1, but it's new for us. Go, Flopsters. Attack the annoying Zubat. Zubat has a new evolution in this game. Uh, and is the first Pokemon, I think, that we've seen that utilizes uh, the happiness meter, or friendship meter, or friendship points, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, a Zubat will become a, a Golbat out of levels, but then uh, requires a certain amount of happiness, or, um, yeah, it's like friendship points. What do they call it? Happy I think it's just happiness. Um, in order to become a Crobat. And happiness is a value, a value, it's an invisible value that every Pokemon has. And you can't see it. That's why it's invisible. I don't know why I doubled down on that. Uh, but every Pokemon starts at anywhere from 50 to 99. Uh, unless you use a friend ball, which ups their, po uh, their happiness right away. Um, but there's a bunch of different ways to make happiness go up. We'll talk about that in a second. During the day, it gathers with others and hangs from the ceilings of old buildings and caves. Thank you. There we go. Um, let's get out of here, though. Hopefully I can. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, walking 256 steps while uh, the Pokemon is in your party will raise its um, its uh, happiness. There's a character you can talk to later in the game will give a massage or something. That'll raise it. Using vitamins uh, will also raise it. Leveling up, of course, it will raise it. And uh, using that Pokemon in important battles is another way to do it. It's pretty cool. I like the idea of happiness. Meters or whatever. Um, and some Pokemon are just really reliant on it. And some moves are too, which is kind of a cool idea. Uh, Hanurga. I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Yep. Kind of a way to tell you that uh, status ailments make it easier to fight, uh, to, 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 to catch Pokemon. Can I avoid you? No. Wow. You can really see me from far away. This will be the last fight of the episode. I got a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. You are another, another, a, um, another bug, bug catcher. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Another Caterpie, really? Alright, we're super leveled. They're level 6, I think, right now? We're fine. Should be level 7 up there. Maybe after this Caterpie. No, but that's too little experience. Level 2. After this fight, though, I think he had more than, um... More than, uh... One Pokemon. What's the point? Why are you attacking me? I'm, a, I'm an elephant. You're a Caterpillar. It'll never work. There we go, easy enough. And... Oh, yeah, one more. Oh, he's a four Pokemon. Oh, Bugcatcher Wade, you have so many Pokemon. That's okay, that's free experience for Phil. Though I think I'm running out of tackle. Yes, I am. Holy crap. Oh, I got three more tackle. That sucks. Oh, well, at least I'll be able to take care of this Cater Caterpie before, uh, before I run out. If, for whatever reason, you run out of, of, of uh, uses of all your moves, you use a typeless move called Struggle, which is very weak and also... Um, attacks your, your own Pokemon. It deals damage to both Pokemon. Uh, it's not recommended. At all. Yay, Flopsy. Can I learn a new thing? Really? Still? Wow. Well, you're gonna use Weedle. Weedle is the kind of opposite version of Caterpie. Um, they're kind of like... Like... Like, Weedle is rare in one version and common in the other, and then vice versa. That's, that's kind of what I mean by that. But, let's get Chikorita. Just so we take it up fast. 
we can catch both Weedles and Caterpies around here, but we're so, well, first of all, we're low on attacks, but we're so low on Pokeballs that we'll have to come back. There's a lot of Pokemon that we've been actually skipping over these last couple of routes, which is a huge shame. I'm not used to that. In red and blue, you're able to catch everything right away, uh, and you have enough uh, money for Pokeballs really, really easily. Uh, another Weedle, another Caterpie. Uh, let's switch out for Flopsters real quick just so we can get the experience. Because as long as a Pokemon is in battle for a single turn, then it counts. It will get experience for that. Poor Flopster. I know, I know you can kill this Caterpie. I believe in you, but you are tired, my girl. You are tired. That's okay. Chikorita will do some of the heavy lifting. Soon we'll get more than just one main Pokemon, and we'll be able to switch around with Pokemon we'll actually use at the end of the game, so. There we go, Wade. We took out your Bug Brigade. Aww. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You can catch Pokemon even if you have six with you. If you catch one, it'll go to your box automatically. You're awesome. I like you. I look for Pokemon here every day. When I'm in the grass, I find all kinds of berries. If you'd like, I'll share some. Ooh, yeah, okay. I have Wade's number. There's a lot of people who can get name numbers in this game. You'll hear from me as soon as I find anything that you might like. Let's grab this. Hey, Pokeball. Ooh, nice. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.